Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Simone Chanel. Thank you guys for stopping by. As y'all can see today, I'm going to be reviewing this emerald green bob from hairspells.com. Y'all know I rock with hair spells. So y'all go ahead and check out my other videos pertaining to this company. If you guys want to know the information about this hair, just keep on watching. Okay, you guys, obviously I am back to show y'all this hair, okay? I had you guys vote on Instagram about what color I should choose. They do have a lot of hair colors to choose from, but you guys chose green. So thank you to those of you who voted in that poll on Instagram. So you guys go follow me if you don't, at Simone Chanel. Now, as y'all see, this is how the week comes. This is pretty much how all of their wigs come in uh, this purple bag here, this drawstring bag. I love it to store these wigs in. And it comes in an extra purple bag here, but inside comes some lashes. These are kind of like my favorite lashes from companies, the Ruzu. I don't know where they get them from, but I love them, especially this style, y'all, look at that, look at that. And then they have a coupon code for the next order. So there's that. And I will have another coupon code in the description box down below. So you guys go ahead and check that out if you're interested in this hair that I'm about to show y'all. And now for the wig. So this is the wig, you guys. I thought this hair, this color was going to be a lot more green, like hunter green, like a darker green, but it's more of like a emerald green. I guess since that's the name of it, I guess I could have figured it would have came like that. So when it comes to the actual names of the wigs, they do come as that color. So this is an emerald green. Y'all can see the luster on this hair it's not shiny pretty much at all it doesn't look dry either it just looks like somebody's hair it's actually kind of scary how real this looks <laughs> this is what the hair looks like it has a little bit of static going on i don't know what that's about and it does have some short hair right here at the top of the part i don't know if y'all can really see that the lace, of course, their wigs come pre-plucked already. As y'all can see there. And it does automatically come with a middle part, which can be changed. The knots are not bleached as well, so you will have green knots. I don't know if that is a problem for anybody, but of course, I would just put foundation or concealer in it anyway, so. This is how much parting you get from ear to ear. You do have a lot of parting space and it has four combs. It has three here in the front and one here in the back and two adjustable straps. This is pretty. Looks so different, y'all. Look at this hair. I like the density of it. It is very subtle. It's not too thick and extreme. And it's cut perfectly. Like, I feel like all I'm gonna have to do is just get the bumps out of the hair and then straighten it a little bit. So this wig is the Indian Emerald Bob Lace Front Wig. I did choose Indian because Indian has more of a natural hair texture, just like Malaysian hair and I think Russian. 
pretty much my go-to hair textures. This wig comes in 150% density and is in 12 inches. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and apply the wig and then we're just going to finish talking about it. Okay, you guys this is basically um what i have come up with with this hair let me know what y'all think of this color i'm not sure how it's coming off on camera but it's definitely green it looks a little bit blue on camera i'm not really sure right now because of all these lights i can't see i just straightened it a little bit off camera and just tucked it behind my ear i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like untucked It is getting really staticky as I'm combing it as well. As I told y'all, when I took it out the pack, it was doing that too. So I did have to spray up here at the top. And because I combed it, it's kind of sticking back up again. But this color is pretty solid all throughout the wig. There is no blonde color or anything like that showing 
in the wig it does bleed on my hands you guys i don't know if y'all can see it but my hands are tinted just a little bit so if y'all wash it it might bleed but i'm pretty positive the color is going to stick and with shedding the hair shed a little bit as I was styling it nothing too crazy it didn't come out in chunks or anything I even think it only shed a little bit because I plucked around the perimeter a little bit I tried to do as little baby hair as I could but y'all know I can't stay away so I did do a little bit right here on the side which can ultimately be covered up so for you guys who don't like baby hair there you go and i did change my eyeshadow i know y'all can see it's a little bit different i wasn't feeling that color green with this green so i just did a neutral face and a little bit of green i kept the green in my tear duct so the length is true to length um the knots are not bleached you guys can tint it or put foundation under the hair i don't like to do that because it's just a lot to wash out but anyways um and you don't need a lot of baby hair of baby hair if any i did decide to pluck it a little bit just in case i didn't want to do any baby hair at all y'all a little close up I wish I had like an emerald shirt. That would be so popping. Have like a monochromatic look going on. But yeah. I also want to let you guys know that this wig did come with a slight smell to it. It did have this little bit of vinegar -y smell. It was very faint, but i could smell it it's not bad it can be washed out of course if you guys want some affordable colored bobs like go check them out and i got a coupon for y'all so but i hope you guys enjoy this video and i will see y'all in the next one bye